When I use my component guide to create components in the database, I find it here. It's uh, um, an icon in the toolbar, Component Wizard, and I can open it and uh, use it to create components. Basically, I can create new components by clicking the button here, or I can make copies of existing ones, I can edit existing ones, and I can uh, load external. What we'll do now is I'll take you through this new one and then I'll show you what you can do and in some later videos I will take one uh, different kinds of uh, components and, 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 and work with those. But this one will take you through the options that you, you have uh, by using this component guide. So first I can go in and create a new component. My new component I need to uh, select the article number or which is the EAN number because that's how uh, the two programs are connected. So if I have a new component I will read the barcode on the box and mine has got this barcode. Uh, it can have a type so I can uh, type in a type for this one and if I want to have most help from my database or from my component wizard here, I go in and select a table code. The table code is uh, the code, um, it's a simply a number telling what kind of component are uh, we working with and uh, I want to make a lamp. A filament lamp and they are in a component group called 5000. I cannot type in the name or the number 5000. I need to browse through the, uh, the table code to select it. So um, that's why I, I did it this way. When I type next I can go in and select the uh, uh, reference uh, ID or the uh, designation character for the component and if I want it to be a signal lamp I can browse down or scroll down here and say it must be a P because it shows signals or it shows information. So this is a way to uh, select uh, the designation character. Then I can choose my symbol and you can see this box here is ticked so I can go out and choose my symbol and when I select it from the database it uses this table code to find out what kind of symbols do you usually use when you make in this case here filament lamps so I can browse down here and see what kind of symbols did I use and uh, I think this uh, lamp symbol would be okay so if I double click this one you can see I select this uh, lamp here. It comes with the, um, uh, the connection names. So, and if I click it, you can see the connections uh, connection names are here. If I wanted them to be different, I could go in here and simply change them. That's one of the things I can do in here too. So I can change them, and you will see the result up here immediately. I could also go in and delete this uh, symbol here. I could go out and select another symbol uh, which I might have somewhere out here and uh, now I think I'll just take this uh, uh, what we call a make contact here. If I have a contact, uh, a symbol, I can go in and copy and in that way you can see that two identical symbols are in here. And now it's pretty good that I can go down and write the names of the connections and by simply typing in uh, what the, the values should, should be here. So that's a basic option that I have in here. I could also go out and say that uh, I wanted to uh, select the state. You saw uh, something about how to create states in one of the videos about simple design. And if my components have different states, and those here are in Danish, I'm sorry, but then you can select different uh, looks or different uh, uh, representations of this uh, symbol here. and. Uh, that's one of the options that you have here too. And um, finally you could go in for any symbol and say that the symbol type uh, could be manipulated by the symbol generator or the uh, component guide uh, too. It doesn't make any sense to, uh, to, to make, a, a make or an open contact to a close contact but simply to let you know that this is one of the options that you have here. 
what they can be used for later. I'll show in a couple of examples, but these are the basic uh, functions that you have in here. The generator, I don't think it's relevant here because uh, I have a lot of symbols that I could choose from instead. So my first is to uh, select the diagram symbols uh, for the component and I've done that here. Then I could go out and select mechanical symbols. Mechanical symbols, that means symbols for the panel layout. And again, I could look up in the database, and when I look up in the database, it will use a filter that I selected when I said I wanted to make filament lamps. And um, in that case, I could go down and, and select uh, any symbol that, that is here. Or I could go out and generate, or I could find, or I could do whatever. Exactly more or less the same functions as I had just before. Then I can uh, go to the next one. And uh, for some components, it would be relevant to uh, add single line symbols. The program has got a function in it where it can generate single line symbols directly from the multi line diagram. Uh, and um, if it has a symbol in the database for the component to use in a single line diagram, then uh, it will take that one. Otherwise, it'll just add a, a dummy symbol. And, and I think it's better if you want to do it and uh, to choose a symbol and select the right one so that you can uh, so that you can generate those uh, single line diagrams and they look uh, sharp. So that's up to you to select one here. I don't do it right now. I could also go in and uh, find some of the other uh, data and I think I might just make this window a little bit bigger here because accessories, you saw that uh, in the first video here, uh, which was about the, the, the settings of the component guide, then um, uh, I had uh, one tab uh, about accessories and I have different kinds of accessories and this is one kind of accessory. If my component has accessories then I must type in the EAN number of the accessory. That's how it works for now. And then it will uh, include this accessory in the parts list and uh, everything will uh, work fine. I have three different kinds of accessory. One is fixed accessory, that's what fix, uh, fits into uh, this data field here. And then I have some optional accessories which can be either mechanical or uh, electrical. And mechanical is in one uh, data field called opt accessories, that's this one. And opt or optional add-on is for electrical accessories. So that's what I can add in that one. Then in this window here, I could go in and I think that's easier just to select that uh, if I am going to create a new component from a manufacturer that is already re represented in the in a uh, database then it's, it's pretty smart to go in and select it from the list in that way you make sure that you spell it the same way as uh, the people before you did if it's a new manufacturer simply type in and and say I am the new manufacturer. So um, you can type any value, but if it's an existing manufacturer, I think you should select it from the list. Then you can add descriptions like green lamp or white lamp or new component, whatever. You can go in and type in how many uh, units are in the package. You can go in and select a picture, simply browse to a picture and you can find it. Also, you can browse and select a catalog or data sheet. And uh, again, a lot of different things that are different data that you have in your database, you can add them here. I selected those data fields. That's a default setting for the database. You could also select other data fields from the database and, and have them here. And if you still miss one. You can click this one, say all fields, and in that way you'll go into the database and then you can type in, in any field in the database. I don't want to go into that one now, but simply to, 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 to show you that that's what you can do. And when you're happy with whatever you've made here, then simply click the next button and you made your new component. This is number one. 
you can go in make a new component you can make a copy of this number one or you can edit the component that you just made so that's the options you have in this uh, component wizard so I'll just close it and then I'll go on and make uh, a few components so that you can see what it can be used for so uh, that's it <laughs>